All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Sanity. So this is Sultai Midrange featuring Thief of Sanity in the main deck. That's why we call it call it the uh, Sultai Sanity. In order to fit the Thief of Sanities in, we kind of trimmed on some of the removal. You may notice that there are no Vrasis Contempts here in the deck. So we do have a little bit of a weakness to Planeswalkers in that respect. But even even uh, we even though we have that, I think we're going to be okay. You know, we have uh, cast downs for some creatures. We got hostage takers to take creatures. Um, basically, we want to just make sure we're not really behind. If we're like behind on the battlefield and our opponents playing a planeswalker, that's where it could get pretty tough. I could have like a, one contempt over the third fine finality, but I kind of like just having just like this um, this deck that's. You know, pretty focused on just getting ahead on the board and staying ahead on the board with all of these creatures and like fine finalities if our creatures die, kind of thing. Um, but that's what we got here. This this deck in particular is kind of tuned towards having the Thief of Sanities make us tuned towards control and towards Wilderness Reclamation decks, and in particular with having Duress, Negate, Canopy, Frilled Mystic. You can see four of my five sideboard cards. Those are all great against Wilderness Reclamation. So. Uh, if you don't like losing to Wilderness Reclamation, like myself, this is maybe the best deck to fight Wilderness Reclamation. So that's what we got. Let's go ahead and see how this does. Yeah, I could see there being an Elder Spell card. I don't know what that card would necessarily be, of course, but uh, from watching that last video that wizards put out there um about nickel bolus getting all the planeswalkers to ravnica and having this elder spell um i could certainly see there being a, a card called the elder spell or something like that hmm i'm gonna try it on the play, double Thief of Sanity. Just gotta draw lands. Love it. Wait, we can play Wild Growth Walker. Definitely glad we drew another land. Oh, I don't I don't know why I didn't attack for one. I was just kind of already talking about how I like to draw on the land and click to the no attacks. That's obviously a spot where I should be hitting for one. So could have had that 19. Shiv and fire. Interesting. Our opponent is not horrend. It's good to know. So of course I can cast down and then get a hit, hit in with Eva Sandy, but let's get another thief in first. So like whenever we, if we spend a cast down on the Phoenix, then. Uh, Where's a jade light? I still have five cards in hand. Kind of regret not getting rid of a land or elf. So 
So I could cast down the dragon, attack with all my flyers. They block one thief. We get a thief hit in. Hit him for four down to 15. And then I cast find and grab my two thieves back. And so then I'm left with Krasis, Thief, Thief in hand. They're at 15. Um, we also get a random card from them as well. I think that sounds like a better plan than... Like, I think that's a good use of the Find Finality. Basically, we're going to be picking up a Thief. I think this works. I would like them to be at 14 if I would have hit them earlier. Thing looks like a monster. That's a monster. There's the monster. Okay, so they got four cards. We got three. Uh, one. I'd like to draw another land here. Krasis for six next turn. If possible. So obviously we're blocking one. Do I trade a Krasis and a Thief for another one if I just go triple block? I don't really hate that, honestly. I don't really hate this. I think we got the we got the long game with our deck, with having cards like Krasis and Hostage Taker and stuff like that. We got the long game. We want to just make sure that we don't get punked out and like the charging monsters are hitting for five here. Um to put us down to nine could and then still having it be available is is pretty scary now we did not draw the extra land that's a good one mine finality is a good one get this crisis and branch walker back Ooh, yeah, our opponent could be playing Galta. Ooh, Galta would be trouble. I kind of want a finality, though. I want to get rid of all of these mana creatures our opponents have. How do I... Hmm. I could attack with Krasis... They block with a phoenix, then I can finality, keep the wild growth walker alive, and get rid of a phoenix. So I get rid of everything but one phoenix, and I have wild growth walker. Or I could play, that's one option, or I could play Vivian and Thief, and, you know, tick Vivian up, and then try next turn to be able to have Vivian minus and kill a phoenix before I finality. The problem with that is then they have an extra turn with all this mana. Do I even want to trade Krasis for, for a Phoenix? Maybe not. Actually, probably not.
just want to get rid of all those mana creatures. I'm pretty scared of what they could do. Because we know they don't have lands. They're not playing lands. So we know those last two cards aren't really lands. Pretty scared of what like these they can do with these three mana creatures. No, I did not miss one damage. I'm not attacking for one there when they can attack back with these phoenixes. I'm keeping the Krasis back on defense. That's not a that's not a spot to to say I missed a damage because trading one for eight is not a good trade damage wise. Because again, I want to stay alive. That's that's the important thing is staying alive. And Branch Walker does a good job of staying alive. Let's see if we find Jade Light though. I've lost meat, my newest friend. We did. Perfect. So, Viva Sanity may not be the met the best here against an aggressive deck with flyers to block. Problem is, I don't really have good answers to Phoenix. Like, and even if I if I board out Thieves Sandy, he's like, what am I really boarding in? I guess Frail Mystics, and then Crushing Canopy, Crowl Harpooner. What did we see? We saw Palaka Worm. Didn't see any spells for like Duress or Negate. Maybe I'll just keep two Thief of Sandys in. Thief does a really good job of making my opponent play defense. Let's keep a couple in. Great hand. Look at how 3D that hand is. I would take this hand every single game. Oh. Don't kill the wild growth walker. Yeah. Sure do. Play list. Even though I don't, you know, I'm attacking there, but I'm a little worried with Rhythm of the Wild, you know, like some haste creature here, and I don't have the Wild Growth Walker on defense. But at, at this point, whatever haste, like they're probably not playing like a something that gets over, you know, like basically, I just don't think we need both of them because we have like the other Jade Light too that we want to grow our wild growth walker before we even want it to be on defense. there's not some kind of giant growth effect 
that's going to kill my wild growth walker. <laughs> oh, there is. Oh, the plus four, plus two. Right. Yeah. So that's all right. That's just, still just a trade. <clears throat> that's fine. All right, 13 to 30. Who is the who is the actress in 13 to 30? Is it Jennifer something, Jessica something? Is it Lindsay Lohan? No, I thought it was I thought it was somebody else. Jennifer Gardner, that's right. There, that's that's what I was thinking. Jennifer Gardner. Yeah. She's the star of Alias. Which that was a show I I liked the first few seasons of. It got pretty crazy later on in that show. But that was one way back in the day. Six, six. Things big. I never saw the 13 to 30. I never saw that movie. Bertley Man, welcome back. 21 months. Let's get some hype in the chat. Oh, Electra. Wow. I don't. I don't think I've made it through all of Electra. That was a pretty bad movie. But yeah, I forgot about that one. I kind of want to block. Yeah. I'm going to block. I just want to stay alive. Stay alive. Waiting to turn on the crisis so it can be a 6-6 and be able to draw three cards. So just casting the cast down here. We'll see if I'm casting it on the charging monster store or if our opponent has a Galta. Um. No Galta. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. No one knows the wilds like I do. Pretty glad I, I blocked the. Ooh, do I want to Vraska kill the Rhythm of the Wild? No. Nah. Pretty glad I, I blocked with my Hydroid Crisis though, so Vivian didn't get to come in and kill the Hydroid Crisis anyway. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just want to draw three. Those are good cards. Oh, Galta's legendary. <laughs> My whole plan of cast out a Galta does not work against legendary Galta. That's right, it is legendary. That was a, a flawed plan that thankfully did not happen. Otherwise, I would have felt silly. Felt real silly. Big old dinos. Never not attacking. Hmm. So let's Hostage Taker. Maybe I should have played the Vraska. The Vraska's kinda cooler.
Is that monster sword gonna charge me? I'll be back, just like before. I didn't live through hell. This is nothing. Right. And uh, I'm to take their monster sword and finish this one off. Sultai Sandy with the first round win. Ooh, wow, that's a really important win. We got 10 cents worth of gems and a pack. Come on, Mythic. Come on, Mythic. Ah, another 10 cents. Bulk rare. So yeah, the we were talking about this earlier. So yeah, the, if 20,000 gems cost $100, then the 20 gems is like 20 is like 10 cents. Um and so therefore, so you know, each pack you open, you, know, you get like a 10 cent rare after you have all the rares like I have there. And then it's 400 gems. Ugh. To change a common. Or like to, for like the common, um, Uh, 3D art thing, and so 400 gems is like two dollars. So it's like two dollars for a common, three dollars for an uncommon at 600 gems, five dollars for each rare at a thousand gems, and six dollars for the mythic at 1200 gems. That's kind of like the pricing if you think about for upgrading these commons, uncommons, rares, and mythics to these full arts. My favorite full art is maybe is actually probably Thought Erasure. I really like the how Thought Erasure looks, like the texture of the clothing on the card and everything. They're all just so great. This one's awesome. Will and Cemetery here. This one looks really cool. Yeah, we're on a mold of five. Opponent has, you know, one drop, two drop, three drop. Double spell breaker here. This is a little tough for us. So we're going to need to shock in here, go down to five, play a crisis for four. Go back up to seven. And unfortunately, I'm already kind of out of crises. We had to put one at the bottom for our scry, explore one over to the graveyard. I'm 
gonna try to hostage take the, the sp I think hostage taking the spellbreaker is better for me than hostage taking the pelt collector. Wow. Oh right, because that was just a two-two. As. Us up. Ravager worm so cool. Playing Kral Harpooner for a blocker and then a Frilled Mystic. Here, this is not a matchup for Thief of Sanity. Yeah, there's. Yes, yeah, so there's no rotation until um, the fall and. It's it's too hard to say what's going to be good after rotation right now. Like we don't know, you know, we don't know how War of the Spark is going to change the metagame, and then, and then that you know the core set after that, and then usually whenever the fall set hits, usually the metagame changes a ton, and like the whatever the fall set is is like what is usually the most prominent set after rotation. Uh, it just kind of always happens like that. So. So like what's gonna be good at rotation could be just just anything. You could you know if you want to look at you know you can just look at decks that don't lose very many cards. Um, if you're trying to just look for uh, something to try to to try to build um, like the teamer reclamation deck unfortunately doesn't lose hardly anything the biggest thing of course is search for Escanta is the biggest thing that it loses but besides that nothing too important with um, with like Shivan fire being up next so gruel spellbreaker is really annoying here being like you know if it's just like a 3-3 haste because I can't cast down a Gruel Spellbreaker on their turn. Oh yeah, Searcher's Kanta is, is incredibly important to that deck. But we also just don't know what else... You know, what if there's anything from the other sets, they'll that can replace that or, you know, other things like that. Like, it still has tons of good cards for the deck, even without Search Risk and every... Like, all the other decks are going to be weaker after rotation. Like, ev everything's going to be weaker. You can't, you can't, like, really find decks that are just, you know, only cards that will stay around kind of thing. Gosh, Rhythm of the Wild plus Growth Chamber Guardian is mean. So saying that you're not sure if it can win consistently without Search or Escantil, remember everything else will be less powerful too. Everything else around it. It's just a simple fact. Like right right now we have seven sets in standard. Or no, we have six, sorry. Right now we have six. <clears throat> Going into the seventh one with War of the Spark. And whenever we have five sets in standard, which is what it'll be after rotation, rotation will be weaker. So I didn't play Jade Light because I was 
considering playing finality <laughs> the next turn. Like a bit of violence. Oh, that's nice. Yes, very nice indeed. These cards, these non-creature cards, Rhythm, Domri, these are awesome cards against my, like, basically two-card hand with the cast down and find finality. Harpoon, of course, is my, my worst card in my deck. Not not great to see all those. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, we got three overgrown tombs at the bottom of the library. favorite is so far. Rats. I'm the kind of person that it's usually need to kind of play the cards first before I determine which one I, I like the most. I mean, the card that I think is the best that I've seen so far is Nicol Bolas, and that's the one that I'll likely be playing a lot to start with. Mad Mike, thanks for that resub there for fifth month in a row. Yeah, this is uh, Prismo. P R I S M O. Uh, I do not know. Kitsuna. I do not know. Five five spellbreaker. Annoying. And the thing's a 5-5 five, five with haste. Riot, riot, haste, hexproof, riot, trample. <laughs> you have to do better than that. Balance comes. I probably should have just killed this. I probably should have killed that Rhythm of the Wild with Vivian. I don't know. I like sticking up and trying to find these Crasis and Hostage Shakers. And so those were good finds for us there. Hey, what's up, Kalua King on that six month streak? Welcome back. So we just, we'll just take the Spellbreaker and make it a 4-4. Four four. I mean, I, so I could make it a 3-3 three three haste and attack Domri, but that's not threatening Domri with lethal. Mac Seth also with that tier 1 sub for the 7th month. 
Y'all are bringing the hype tonight. Thanks, Mac. Go on, take a peek. You know, like you do. All right, Dub's Harpooner. Give a bunch of creatures haste. Attack in here. That's their last one of those, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ugin's a big bad dragon, elder dragon god? Question mark? person so we get another tick up out of Vivian or no, oh, they have Collision Colossus. Every defeat is a new beginning. Uh, one one counter. That was weird. All right, give me this Jade Light and this Hostage Taker. Go, Wild Growth Walker, go! <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. That whole Growth Chamber Guardian getting four cards thing is going to be tough to... kind of tough to beat. But I... All right, I like where we're at here, though. It, with Domri only playing that Crawl Harpooner, nothing, you know, them not having anything else. I, I'm liking where we're at. So we know the Harpooner can turn into a 9 4. And yes, that does kill Krasis, but oh well. Let's just draw three with Krasis. No lands. No lands. I guess it can turn into an eight. This could turn into an eight three. Oh, because those things are haste and they have like all that power, don't they? Uh, things are about to get real. Our pointer does, doesn't it? So yeah, it's like a huge power haster. That is actually scary. Why not finality? You just don't need to yet. Yeah, I would kill Domri. Or draw more cards. I was hoping to hit a land drop, but draw draw more cards. Um and would I would I have killed Domri? Yes, if I would have gone finality and then branch walker, yeah. Plus, I don't even know if finality is more valuable than find. Like, you know, finding back, getting crasises and hostage shakers and stuff back. Not sure if that's more valuable. Three, four, five, six.
guess I could have graveyarded that and picked it back up with fine finality. Yeah, opponent has played this very well. Okay, now that's a problem card. Makes me you can't stop nature. Now that would make me want to finality. All right, how do we deal with that? This is through. I'm just gonna kill that. So I go Vivian, kill the the Hellkite. I cannot Vivian plus Finality, so let's choose one or the other. Riot, 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 Flying. So I can finality and then hostage taker to take the Hellkite. If I finality, this will go to six. Or no, no, no. It goes to four. So if I put the counters on Jade Light when I finality, it'll be a six, five, so it'll be two. So we'll have two. Yeah, so two plus four, so we will be able to kill Vivian. Just hostage take the Hellkite. Nah. Clear all that up. Kill Vivian. Ha! I've seen worse. No, we don't have lethal. Maybe I'll hang on to this, if that's all right with you. Could have also just takered and then cast Hellkite, but then the Hellkite's just a 4-4 haste. Does not kill Vivian. So do I want to play... Could have crushing canopy to kill that rhythm of the wild and the other thing. Maybe just take out Mystic and have Duress. They got all these planeswalkers. I have lots of planeswalkers. But then Collision Colossus. Rhythm of the Wild. Planeswalkers. Do I want negate instead? It's kinda hard to to keep four mana up with Frilled Mystic. And then if they have Rhythm of the Wild, it definitely makes Frilled Mystic worse. So basically, I mean, this, these 59 are acceptable. What do I want for the last one? Kind of like how just cheap duress is, even though negate is more reliable. But again, I don't want to, I don't think I, this is not like the kind of thing like where I want to hold up mana kind of thing. But top decking, like the game's gonna go, if the game goes long, they top deck Planeswalkers, that, and I top deck Duress. Duress is not a good top deck late, which is the, the big problem with it. But I think I, I like being in the late game, so Duress can help me get there. Kaikulamu Kaikulu asks, have you ever thought about designing cards yourself, even if it was just for fun? Not really, actually, no. No, not really, I haven't really thought of that. Yeah, Canopy only deals with two cards that we've seen so far. Right, like we've only seen one Hellkite and one Rhythm of the Wild. Which is not that versatile, where we've seen like the Planeswalkers. 
and Collision Colossus to go along with Rhythm of the Wild that Dress can all that can Dress can hit all of those. Opponent goes Forest Land Werewolf. I like what they're doing. Let's let's go Forest Land Werewolf as well. Mm. Rhythm's gonna be tough to beat. So do I want to shock for Jade Light? No. Let's play Branch Walker and then play another Elf. Of course, did not have black mana, so I couldn't just cast down this land war elf even if we wanted to that previous turn. Probably need to cast down that thing. Let's see if we find like Woodland Cemetery. Where we don't need to pay two life. Trade those for a land or elf if my opponent wants to. Especially with having find that can get him back. Yeah, but looks like we got this one. Our hand was really good. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. All right, they got one card over there, and we got seven. At least that good game. At least that good game back. Explore creatures, still good. All right, two and zero for Soul Tie Sanity. We have not played the matchups for Thief of Sanity, but you just kind of see that, like, against the other mid-range decks. Or like creature heavy decks, I guess. Against the other creature heavy decks, the rest of the deck is good. Where you don't, where you, you know, you can board out the Thief of Sanities, but uh, against spell heavy decks, you definitely want those Thief of Sanities. So, hopefully, our opponent's playing a spell heavy deck here. We are on the play with Triple Thief. And Mulligan to five. Don't like seeing Basic Mountain against this hand. Obviously, Mulligan to five is a little easier win, but yeah, if this is like Mono Red, this is not. I guess Mono Red is a spell heavy deck, and I said I wanted a spell heavy deck, so, you know, get what you ask for. So I should just cast down on my turn. This unlocks 
one mana Wizards Lightning. So they have one mana Wizards Lightning and then one mana Light at the stage there. So that's just unnecessary, unnecessary waiting on my part. They're not playing any other creature pre-combat. So, what do they want to do? What? What are you what are you doing? What are you doing, Chris? Just just use this Wither's Lightning that's going to go away and don't use the don't use the lightning strike from your hand. No, opponent. Just use that wizard's lightning. You could have done that. All right, frenzy's a, a real thing. We need to start playing these, the Steamkin and some other red spells, so we can start growing the Steamkins. I would say we are maybe an underdog right now, because of how good Frenzy is. I don't know. Yeah, we... Like, we need to draw Explore Creatures, of course. We need to draw lands and Explore Creatures. Yeah, it's... I would certainly not be surprised if my opponent won <laughs> with Frenzy here. I think our our plan is... I think our plan may be... to mill our opponent out. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... I could light up, look for look for a land, and then Wizards Lightning the Steamkin. But like, if I don't hit the land after I light up, that's it's gonna be unfortunate. I could just Wizards Lightning to make sure that Steamkin's out of here. Like, do I play it safe and just Wizards Lightning the Steamkin? We gotta have a land, right? We've seen three lands so far, but so we have, there's 21 more lands out of the 46. You, you vote just kill the Steamkin? Dude. Come on, land. That's fine. Come on, land. Oh my gosh, no land. Oh my gosh, not a single land. You're killing me. Yeah, go go and branch walker looking for lands. Kill me, deck. All right, well, that was all sorts of bad. All sorts of bad. Do, are any of these things wizards? Need to mill my opponent out. Gotta decline. Yeah, looks like I should have just Wizards Lightning the Steamkin.
<laughs> yeah, we did. Our opponent spent 16 mana, 15, no, 16, yeah. They spent 16 mana that turn. We're just sitting over here with our three. Almost an easy game. Almost had it, but yeah. Mold of five, Frenzy, Frenzy does that. Frenzy is ridiculous. All right, so we're bringing in Duress Negate. Gonna cut Land War Elf. Going to cut Viva Sandy. Find Finality. Bring in Frilled Mystic. Hmm. Yeah, I need a side in lands, right? I don't know, I usually like Frilled Mystic here, but I don't have too high of a curve. Yeah, I got greedy casting that, but even if I play... So, like, let's say I I kill their... Say I just, just kill the Steamkin. I don't think we're winning that. Honestly, I, I don't think we win that, even if I kill the Steamkin there. They basically would have had that same turn except for without the stuff after the risk factor. They still would have, like, they were still going to just play um, another Steamkin and Chain Whirler that turn. All right, deck, can we find some lands this time? I guess the answer is no. That is only one land for the opponent. They did not play a second land. Yeah, after our opponent, that last game, after they... After they used the the lightning strike from hand instead of the wizard's lightning, I thought I thought we were gonna have it after that. So light up the stage was the card I wanted to take, and so I just wanted a harpooner here to be able to check the firebrand. Looks like they drew another one. Uh, a skewer. And the Jellyfish Hydra Beast should be able to finish this. So this was a game where we couldn't hit any land drops. Lose. Now game two, opponent can't hit any land drops. We'll see if they lose. The match isn't over yet. Let's 
get that steamkin out of here. Now we're not gonna be making that steamkin. You know, we're not really gonna be growing that steamkin. Alright, so we got this one now. Okay, we're going to be on the draw for game three. Certainly going to be tough. Let's get another Harpooner in for another blocker. No. No, I'll keep it like this. Four Duress is a, is a lot of Duress, and that's a card that, that turns into a dead card later, but it's such a good card early that I think it's it's worth having so many. You know, basically one mana trick, get their burn spells out of their hand. Or help protect a Wild Growth Walker or anything like that. Ow. Now, all right, no light at the stage. That's a good sign. They're starting to gating some stuff. They didn't play any creature last turn, so I thought it could have been like an end step lightning strike there. Please draw land. Let's go wild growth plus branch walker. Come on, land. Ugh. No land. All right, there's a land. So now we need another one before we can go, go wild growth plus jade light. Come on, one more land. Oh, yeah. We did it. Down, down. Okay, so opponent still has six cards, but we have Frenzy covered with, with Vivian. Kill this chain whirler here with the Vraska this turn. Just gonna get that thing out of here. I don't think I shock to hold up a negate. I think if there's like, you know, like another chain whirler kills the Vraska or like one of the haste creatures. Or a Viachino Pyromancer. Basically any creature but Steamkin kills Vraska. And yeah, that's that's fine. Seems fortune favors you. Shocking. I don't think makes a ton of sense. We're good. Yeah. We did save so much life with that wild growth walker. And now we got another one. Those cards are that scary. Let's take the Bane Fire. 
I could double lightning strike the wild growth walker, but oh well. We got fine finality that can get it back. More jade lights, more wow growth walkers. <laughs> yeah, I think we gained gained a little bit of life here. That's twelve life right there. Double wow growth walker with one jade light. That's crazy. Crazy life. All right, three and oh. Ugh. Yeah, poor opponent. Three and oh. So we've beaten what? Mono red and um, green red aggro. So we're still beating the aggro decks. Even without with a little bit less removal and with the Thieves Andes, which are not good against aggro. Like we've faced like three aggressive decks where we're taking out Thieves Andy each time. <laughs> yeah, we are playing some faster matches because of the aggro decks. Alright, but after our third match here, I want to just talk for a second about one of my sponsors you, um, we have MeUndies is an awesome sponsor we've had 11 people sign up for their amazing underwear and basic products uh, Use if you use my referral link that I just put in the chat or you can find down below you can get 15% off your entire purchase I myself in particular really really like their socks their socks are incredibly thick uh, really nice dress socks. You need some new socks for work. Definitely check out the products over there at MeUndies. So again, every game one we've had like turn three thief basically. Looks like we're gonna have that again. Ugh. Mono red means mono we have to kill that steam kitten all right throwing the thief down here to make my opponent spend a turn killing the thief so they're not doing other things this turn and looking for wild growth walker fine finality is good it's up, Sway. Now, deck command is working. It's just a lot of people are doing the deck command immediate, you know, right away. Here you go. I can get it to work. There you go. And so it takes a little bit of time. Has it has a delay on it. Yeah, now I have Breeding Pool. I, I shouldn't have played that. I just played like a, a, an untapped land there. Should have uh, played the Jade Light first. So I was considering playing Find, like, you know, casting Find and playing replaying Thief of Sandy. 
Now I have to shock to have this 4-4. Four, four. We'll see if that 2 life makes me lose this game. I'm, I'm thinking not, but we'll see. Like, a, a frenzy is basically as long as it's not frenzy. Tilt. That was the card that can get us. Nice. Way says, eager to watch your Esper Legends. Been having great success with it on Arena ranked lately. Awesome. Hmm. I think I just want to finality away their creatures and make Krasis bigger. Hoping they don't kill Krasis in response. You know, we don't know what the card on top of their library is. Okay. 6-6 six, six, Krasis now. Takes two burn spells. Which they could definitely find. Oh yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast against Sultai is so good. No, don't find another burn spell. Oh, that's gotta find another burn spell, right? Yeah, Wizard's Lightning there. Okay, well... Frenzy's doing frenzy stuff. It's just five cards cast so far. One, two, three, four, five. They didn't even play the Lava Runner. Huh. Have something else they want to play? Could have had another two damage. Yay, Vivian. Kill this frenzy. Why sometimes restoration means retribution. Get that out of here. So we're wanting, wanting to find Dang it. I'm gonna find another find finality, crisis. Yeah, I just trade that. Let's do this again. Well, not looking good. Okay, looking a little bit better. Is this a card? These four man enchantments these days. Wilderness Reclamation, Experimental Frenzy. What are, what are we doing? Do I need all four cards in their hand to be blank. Let's see if you're worthy. And the card on top of their library to be Feel blank. Feel the wrath of Scala. And then I need to draw really well. Uh. 
All right, sideboard. Maybe I want all the fine finalities. This is what we did last time. Should I go to one harpooner, three find finality? The problem is, is like find is only good after you draw like all these other things. But it is very good at that point. Maybe I'll just go two hostage taker. We'll do that. We'll keep the fines in, but take out a hostage taker. I think Esper is better than Naya as far as legends go. I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't. I like them both. I, I don't know what is. You know, better per se. All right, have a good night, King Toll. Yeah, I could see playing Crushing Canopy for Frenzy. This is the problem with the fine finalities, though. When you have them early, they are just dead cards. All right, explore creature. Perfect. Love it. Hit those lands. That was it. Great, great, great draw for us. Graveyard that. I only hope to make that disappear. I wonder if I should even be ticking up Raska. I have to sacrifice something to, to gain a life. I grow bored with this fight. Nope, not you. You. The beasts are much more reliable than humans. <clears throat> if that land was not a shock land, I may have taken it. Really don't like the shock land though. But we want Okay, so you've got claws. I want land so I can find back, you know, wild growth and jade light and like be able to play them kind of thing. That costs that takes seven mana. Yeah, maybe I should have just taken that land and be able to have finality. Alright, perfect. Alright, no frenzy, and we good. I mean, it was a shock land. I, I was still glad I took the hostage taker over the shock land. Just keep him burn spell up now. Where I do have the mana to cast find and get Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light Ranger back, but 
They're just keeping these burn spells up. Sure, I have enough green sources. I, I I have enough green sources. Everything's green except for. Dutch with the purchase from movement. Thank you so much, Dutch, for that support. And with upgrading your watch game there, where's my hype boats? There's my hype boats. With updating your watch game, you do get a free donation deck. All right, that's number four for movement. That's right, movement has really nice watches and sunglasses. And using my referral, like this is my I have the blue watch with brown strap, which is really nice. If you want to update your watch game, check out their site. You get 15% off by using my referral link and you get a free donation deck. So if you were thinking about getting a donation deck, um, donating for your deck to be played on stream, you can see your deck played on stream for free by supporting through my referral link there with movement. Use that coupon code TODSTEVENSMTG to get that 15% off, too. Awesome, Dutch. Yeah, you're going to love your watch. And, uh, yeah, make sure you report back and let me know all about it and everything when it comes in. And, yeah, so that's just no expiration dates on the donation deck. You can wait till after War of the Spark if you'd like. You can use that whenever you want. Three, six, seven, eight. All right, Krasis for eight. Our opponents had two really bad turns with Frenzies. So yeah, they, they use the shock on Wild Growth Walker because they have Frenzy out, so they, they don't know what the cards are underneath Frenzy, so they're just trying the shock because they're going to have to like team some burn spells together, right? So they're hoping... That like with their six mana, they get to just start. That um, they get to use a bunch of. Um, yeah, they get to use a bunch of burn spells on frenzy, basically. Should I have a canopy over a duress? For frenzy. Nah, I'm gonna keep it like this. Okay, game three on the draw. Hands great if you have mana. Ugh, watery grave, that's not green. It's not green mana. Imagine my opponent has zero ways to kill the uh, Wild Growth Walker in hand. Huh. Well, maybe they do. All right, come on, land. Green source. Green source. Green source. Green mana. Oh, it comes into play tapped. So... Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Crow. Now, the instant speed that Canopy provides is vital against Wilderness Reclamation decks. And still against like decks like Mono Blue, I, I do like that um, Canopy kills the Flyers there. Also, like just even more ways to kill Flyers. That's right, I was thinking I shouldn't block the Lava Runner because my opponent can cast the Shock from their hand that, you know, thought they had, but then wait, they have Frenzy, so they couldn't. But I'm glad I didn't block Lava Runner because they had another Shock on top of their deck. No, 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 no. Ugh. I need that finality back. And this is over. Triple Frenzy is just infinite mana as long as they don't hit any lands. So we went one and one against Mono Red. With every single game that we lost solely because of Frenzy and nothing else. So I do feel good that Frenzy... Like, I feel pretty good about our deck that like if our opponent doesn't have Frenzy, we win kind of thing. And even if they do have Frenzy, we did... We have... We did win the one game when they had like the... Like the Frenzy we... I uh, still had one game, that last one before that. I think that was our only one that we won when they were playing Frenzy. Maybe we won two of them. So basically what I'm saying is even we went 1-1, one, one, but I like our chances over the long haul against Red, I think. For how all those games played out. Alright, looking to draw land here. So next turn we can go another Wild Growth Walker plus Branch Walker. Want to be able to double spell next turn. And start going crazy with these Wild Growth Walkers. Okay, Mono White Angels is good to go. All right, did not draw the land, but I'm going to get the other Wild Growth. Like, in, in this kind of matchup where it should be slower and everything, I want to just get the other Wild Growth Walker in play first before playing Jade Light. Looks like our opponent may be short on lands as well. They are short on lands as well. Mm. 
get to double block one. It's not a good trade. I don't know about that that jade light there. That was the cast down is a valuable card here. But so would finding land so would be finding lands. Should just kept that cast down. They have six cards to my two. I don't I don't think we're winning this. So finality would kill Branch Walker, Branch Walker. Jade Light. We kill all five of these creatures and the Jade Light. So we trade three for three creature wise. So Krasis is only a 4-4. really want Krasis to be a 5-5. If possible. I expect my opponent to have Find Finality also, how they are willing to block and trade those things off. I bet they just have Find Finality too. Alright, see you, Krasis. Yeah, I think the land's worth more than Krasis. Well, like, it's not like I'm... It's a land plus random draw is more than Krasis. When Krasis was just going to be a 4-4 at the time, like, without without another land. Let's balance comes. But it's, yeah, getting a free land into play, and then you still have your draw step. So it's just it's turning your draw step from being certain Krasis to... random card. Hey, Endorse with the donation. Enjoying the stream. Thanks for being part of the Endorse community. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Endorse are the, the wonderful people that help set me up with these awesome sponsors. Speaking of those, let's move those just a tad up here. There we go. All right, grabbing. Grabbing their Midnight Reaper so we get to draw cards. Even though the Wild Growth Walker is like, you know, the big thing and, and everything. I, I like that I'm the one drawing cards and not them. They're not the one drawing cards. 
Oh, thanks, Endorse. Ah, I'm a survivor. All right, now I'm liking where we're at. That we have a Midnight Reaper. And you can't stop nature. Our opponent doesn't right now. I like where we're at, but that's what I was going to say. They have Vivian, so Vivian can find Hostage Taker and doesn't get a lot worse. <laughs> but like, give me back my Midnight Reaper. Hmm. I guess I just attack out at Vivian. Oh yeah, always getting that Deacon Blues in here. They get so to draw two cards. Like that, huh? But I get my hostage taker back. They have seven cards Meet in hand plus Vivian on the battlefield. <sighs> this is going to be a longer game. Not necessarily in our favor. Hmm. We'd have Krasis for seven right now. Okay, at least we can kill Vivian now. Oh no, they have another land drop? No, we don't get to kill Vivian. Ugh. So since we're not killing Vivian anyway, I don't really want to trade my land war elf. This is Tough game, so they're keeping Wild Growth Walker. I expect them to have fine finality, right? Like by now. I've seen things Gosh, that Vivian. would break someone like you. Vivian's killing me. They they're at thirty one, and we have their life total doubled up, which is kind of crazy. I feel like if I, if I just play Thieves Sandy, it makes finality for them really good. But hopefully this crisis pressures their Vivian better.
Today I learned that if you have both Angrath and Tristani on the field, be sure to order the triggers correctly if you minus three. The wilds are my shield. <laughs> that is something you don't see too often, having both Angrath and Tristani on the battlefield. I'm really glad they didn't find Hostage Taker with Vivian. Hope they still haven't. They could Memorial to Folly back Hostage Taker and play it. Alright, good. So I'm going to play Vivian, kill their Krasis, and attack their... Vivian. Would you like to see what's left? That can't help you now. I always survive. You'll see. Um, and MTG Goldfish is a good site there. There's a link. Alright, so we are very, very far ahead on the battlefield, but still four cards. This thing's not over at all. Yep, not over at all. We are not so far ahead on the battlefield anymore because now now the Vivian's dead. Ah, not again. So what have we seen so far? Seen two of the three fine finalities, one hostage taker, just one crisis. We still have three Krasis, two Hostage Taker, one Find, two Vivian. A lot of good cards. That's what we're looking for. So we got three Krasis, even three Thief. Those are good draws. So three Krasis, th three Thief. Uh, one find and two Vivian and two hostage taker. That's a lot of. We have a lot of gas still here in the tank. Hmm. Wild animals. That's a lot worse for us. People. Draw and Do not fire. want to see that. Uh, now we're we are incredibly far behind. They even have the memorial to folly. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to win now. I guess it's saying the stream health is unstable currently. Alright, Krasis, awesome draw. <laughs> nice boot. 
Was that their third Vivian? Uh, that's their second Vivian, I think. There you go. Yeah, you already have one for whenever you need it. All right, but you already have one in the bank. Hey, Metamorph! Come to me. Welcome back. Third month there. Hostage take their hostage take kind of thing. But. Just gonna go this route. Just gonna take my Krasis back and play it. No one knows the wilds like I do. I think my best chance of winning is ducking my opponent. Okay, so they're going very greedy. Going for the... Going for that, so then... They don't need to cast the Hydro Crisis this turn, I guess. They're at 18 cards. If we can just get Thieves of, Thieves of Sanity to hit our opponent, it'll help speed up our our clock as far as decking them. Is concerned. You can't stop nature. Our crisis. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can have another crisis for six. But then Vivian just kills that. Too many game objects out here. The game is lagging. No one said restoration was painless. These Carnage Tyrants are hitting hard. So I, I need to kill my hostage taker for a mouse. so they don't get the crisis. They might not even want the crisis though, as far as milling out. 
Well, plus that that hostage taker goes back to me. If I kill the problem with killing their hostage taker is memorial to folly. So I, I really don't want to kill their hostage taker. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We spend six. We draw three. We still have six mana. We draw four. We have. Still have six mana, draw three. Any J lights over there? No. So they should still have fine finalities over there. Balance you would think. Comes. Maybe another hostage taker. You know, maybe they have a third. Like I'll be pretty surprised if we get to hit our opponent with this thief, but you never know. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's another finality coming. Oh no. Traces, okay. They're looking for removal. They're down to 11 cards now. And they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana still. Which I think they played a land. Are they just wanting to cast Finality? Is Finality even bad for me? Like if I have Krasis block Wild Growth Walker, and then they Finality, yeah, that's bad for me. Get these Carnage Tyrants out of there. So now they want to... They can cast Find and get those Carnage Tyrants back if they want. How many Find Finalities have they used? Just one, I think. Yeah, just one. Do not have the mana to cast another one, though. So do we get to hit them with Thief? Looks like we can hit them with Thief. 
Hit him with Thief. Oh, boy. All right. So, let's see. How much mana do we have? A lot. They're down to 11 cards. I guess we could kill... We could just kill Vivian. Okay. <clears throat> Get all those, take the Krasis. Hit them with Thief, put them down to eight cards in library. And I was not gonna hit yeah, I was not gonna hit the Vivian. I was gonna hit them. So they got a couple Carnage Tyrants. Yeah, we are going to be milling our opponent out. Finally, game one. Yep. I don't know. Wild Growth Walkers are pretty important to make sure you stay alive. You know, like, if we didn't... Like, if I brought out Wild Growth Walker, we could definitely just, you know, die to not having enough life kind of thing. I kind of want to play Duress or Negate or Frilled Mystic. Maybe Vraska Golgari Queen is my worst card. Maybe I replace that with like a Frilled Mystic. Holding up mana is kind of tough. Um... <clears throat> so Mitchin says, what do you think is the best bang for your buck is for purchasing gems to buy packs? Like, if you're just talking about best bang, bang for your buck for purchasing gems, the $100 gem pack gives you more gems than, um, you know, than any of the others, you know, you know so like it's, it's the best value. Uh, if you mean... Oh no, Land of War is awesome. No, that there's so many turns in the game. Having an extra mana for all those turns in the game is is vital. Like Land of War Elf does so much in this matchup. Oh my gosh, I was just talking, and you know, I, usually that works. Ugh, play the wrong land. So yeah, we'll eat this Assassin's Trophy, get this get this extra land. That's valuable, and then have Wild Growth plus Branch Walker next turn. Or we could hostage take the Jade Light. No, I don't think we're gonna hostage take yet. We don't want our hostage take to die and they get the Jade Light back. If I draw land, I'll probably hostage take this land war elf. Yeah. If we draw land, we're doing that. We did not draw land. I could still do that. I should start gaining life. Alright, good. Good land drop, too. So they could play Vivian next turn with these two land war elves. That's all right. And 
And suddenly we're both at 18. Suddenly we're the aggressive one. Why didn't I block with... Wow Growth was a 2-4. Oh, why didn't I just block their... Oh, I could have just blocked their Branch Walker with my Wow Growth. Oh, right. I don't know. <laughs> just thinking ahead. I was just thinking ahead. It just was traded. Yeah, because... Now we can still just hostage no take one, this no Jade Light, kill the Vivian. We almost have lethal on them. If we draw a land, we have lethal here, right? Land is lethal? I think so. Stop. That's 7, 10, 13. Yeah. That's 13. All right, Sultai Sanity is four and one. And honestly, even though we didn't hit with Thief, basically until the very, very end of game one, we were gonna hit with Thief. But that that made the difference of like having our opponent mill out before us. But it also, even, even in that game one, it did a really good job of like making my opponent, like it was like a good card that my opponent had to care about and had to kill all the time. You know, like they were having to minus three their Vivian to kill to kill it and everything like that and um it just kind of threw off my opponent's game plan like it made them use their assassin's trophy on it you know it was just a, a nice lightning rod that game too it was a good lightning rod of where my opponent was like i gotta use this trophy right now gave us that extra land so that we could start uh double spelling earlier and, and everything we were we were short on land so the thief eating that assassin's trophy that early in the game was really good for us Oh, 4-1 does mean we have another final boss. We need some redemption. Quasi Dupla Ooze was not able to get through the final boss. Even though it was 4-0 at the time, we could not... Um, finish it off. And when we lost two straight, lost to Sultai and to Nexus. There, let's see if... Sultai Sanity here. Can finish this one out. Yeah, that is true, Ox. That's a that's a very good point. It did. Uh, just having that thief saying having the thief visible in hand that our opponent knew about held back their find finality a few turns and probably helped us out there. Could be Esper, and so maybe I'll, I'll miss not having that point of damage there. You know, I could have shocked to deal one. Ugh. Kind of feel bad for keeping the Skolgari Queen right about now. Ah. Alright. Expendable, except me. See a branchy. So, crisis is for four next turn.
All right, so no vigilance. Ah, that got my That's probably good for us. So they could have just played the Dawnbringer first and had the lifelink with Seraph and attack for more. Attack for that extra point. Oh, the day is yours. No removal. Ugh. I hope they don't have any removal plan. Did not pan out. Those were two really good cards to see. Grow this Wild Growth Walker and kill Dawnbringer. Yeah, they could have Mortified first for Lifelink as well. Yep. Could be at 31. Currently. Let's tear this place apart. Get out of here. We have three four threes. Seraph to that. Like they have 18 power on the battlefield. Attacking here. If they have removal spell for Wild Growth Walker. I'm in big trouble. Looks a little rough, but come back from worse. As long as Wildgrowth Walker survives and we can go Jade Light Thief. Yet. Well, now we need to just play a big crisis. We gotta stop that Resplendent Angel from attacking. We need to draw another one of those, another one of those hostage takers, or a find finality. Either of those would be nice. Take either one. All right, so Seraph is unblockable because I got to keep Krasis alive for a Splendid Angel right now. I can't, I can't block this. So we're taking four, but we're going to gain six next turn with the help of Jade Light. Mm. A bunch of those things. This is not working out so good for us. This crisis finding all lands. All right, so we got two hostage takers, three find finality. Those are our best draws. 
the problem with playing Thief is it playing it into a finality isn't really that worth it. But honestly, maybe I just cast Find. Like, if we get Find Finality, or maybe just cast Find and grab Hostage Taker and Krasis. Because so I can go Find, cast Hostage Taker, and cast their take their Seraph and play their Seraph. Well, that's what we could not really afford to have happen. All right, hopefully it stabilizes back again after the game. I feel like that happens. I feel like that happens whenever I, if I go to my graveyard and start moving the cursor back and forth to the graveyard, I think that's what really causes it to lag. All right, so we should be pretty good in this matchup here, post sideboard with all these things that kill flyers. Yeah, like I, I like our matchup here. I mean, Frilled Mystic is awesome, but I guess I'm not playing it. Oh yeah, I don't need Thief. I mean, our cards are good. Like, none of these cards are, like, really cuttable. I have to take one out, though, but these are all, these are all really good. I mean, I guess a Land War Elf? I guess. I, I don't like getting rid of Llanowar off, but no, nothing else in the deck is cuttable. Cast down. No, it still gets rid of Resplendent Angel and Seraph of the Scales. I mean, I'd rather that cast down be a Llanowar off right here, so... I don't know, this hand's not not the best. But we'll see if it can. Uh, see if it gets better. That's not getting better. No, but I just I just brought in like six six cards that kill Lyra. So even though the cast down doesn't. Alright, blue mana. Blue mana. Blue mana. Tilt. Sure, I guess I'm gonna attack for one. Whatever. Okay, there's blue mana. How this thing goes is up to you, pal.
I always survive. You'll see. Oh, come on. Midnight Reaper? That's a great card. Midnight Reaper. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they still have seven cards over there. They've been missing land drops. So they probably have a bunch of like mythic angels and stuff. That's a good one. Do not fear, my friend. That's a good one. I think this is just my Orzhov Angels deck. We played, you know, like everything that we saw last game and this game. I think 1083 is just playing my Orzhov Angels deck, which is pretty sweet. Alright, 4 4 Krasis. Do not want to see Lyra Dawnbringer, but anything else can probably finality away. One card I didn't want to see. One card, opponent. There's a one card. You are capable of more than you assume. Ooh. That was a perfect draw. Good job, deck. Definitely not like out of the I woods or anything like that. The best. But hopefully no more Dawnbringers. Because the other flyers are not five toughness, so the other flyers die to finality. Still six cards. Still doesn't look great for us. No friend of mine fights alone. See in yourself. Alright, well now I see in you. Now we're looking terrible. Crasis. Find more Crasis. I 
I should just attack with a branch walker too. No, they just pay the four life with Vanguard. No, 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 no. Yeah, Very I want to well. block with branch walker, have them pay the four life. Be strong. What? Okay. And there we go, that's nine. GG. Man, Johnny's so good. Definitely don't hate losing to Orzov Angels. Very good match. Very good match. Where's my... There we go. But it did come up a little short there with the 4-2. Um, so, yeah. Orzov Angels OP. Yeah, no... Opponent had awesome awesome hands both those times. Like the game one, how they just stopped on six six lands and had tons of spells. That was perfect for them. And then, yeah, we saw the the power of a Johnny. And I guess maybe I should take out a fine finality. I don't know. Our hand was pretty bad. They're having those two fine finalities that couldn't do anything early. I could have cast the finality earlier. The the second one. I don't know. Just good playing that a Johnny's getting a Johnny, you know, getting back the the honor guard, the first one, and then pumping it up, and then the second one pumping it up over finality. Pretty nice. Yeah, Kenny Ninja, good GG's. Orzov Angels looked really sweet there. Good games. Yeah. No, no, dude, you, you played very well. Yeah, good, good match. All right, so that's Soul Tie Sanity. Um, really good, strong choice. Even though we didn't get to really play too much Thieva Sanity, we played against a lot of decks where Thieva Sanity wasn't good, but in some of your tougher matchups or against some of the, the more popular decks that you really want to beat with, like, Control, Reclamation, stuff like that, Thieva Sanity can do a lot. And we saw in the mirror, Thief did help us win that mirror match for sure. All right, so if you're watching this video,